hello guys welcome back to my channel in our today's tutorial i'm going to show you on how to subtract the binaries using the one complement if you look at uh, the other video that i'd already shown you on how to work on uh, the binary addition and unlike the addition the case of a subtraction is uh, quite different and uh, this is how to go about it but before we go to the steps on how to ha uh, to subtract the binaries you need first to get yourself conversant on how to work with the binary addition for example 0 plus 0 for the binary addition is supposed to give you 0 while 1 plus 0 is supposed to give you 1 0 plus 1 is supposed to give you 1 while 1 plus 1 should give you one zero remember this is binary addition not the normal numbers therefore we have to 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 state it has one zero and not ten then uh, the other thing we have one plus one plus one is supposed to give you one one but we also have another scenario whereby we have one plus zero plus zero plus one it should give you one zero one plus when you had one then you had to zero then you had to one it should give you one zero i hope we had to get on that okay let's move now to the next part or now to subtract the binaries using the one complement and guys before we dive into the whole thing if you are new on uh, this particular channel don't forget to subscribe and uh, for those who have already subscribed uh, don't forget to share with your friends who are facing the same challenging on the, the challenges on how to work on the binaries either addition subtraction conversion from one format to the other so these are the steps so step number one you need to ensure that uh, both numbers have the same numbers of bits by adding zeros to the left of the number with fewer bits i hope that is clear then step number two you generate a one complement of the negative number then step three you add the generated value to the positive number then number four if the answer obtained has more bits than the original number the extra bit is known as the overflow this particular one is our overflow this you need now to take these particular bits to the least significant bits of the answer then lastly if the answer obtained has the number of bits number of bits similar to the original number then you adapt that as the final answer okay having done that now let's move now to our example Okay, so our first example we have, uh, let me try to image this one so that we can have a, okay, okay. I think that's better. Okay, for this one, I will try to drag it up to that point. So for, for this particular case, we have zero, zero, one, one. Okay. We need to remember the rules the rules for this one is that uh, you need first to ensure that uh, both the numbers have similar number of they have a similar number of bits therefore for this one we will have if we look at uh, this one this one the number of bits that we have is a uh, two therefore now we need not to add the zero so that we have equal number so we'll have zero zero one one two zero 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 one two so we have a equal number of bits this is zero one one zero zero one one okay having that third we move now to step number two step number two is to generate a one complement 
one's complement of the negative number. Now, what that means is that uh, for this one, this section two, this one, one complement will translate to whenever we have a zero, you change it to one. Whenever we have one, you change to to zero. Therefore, for this one, it will be one, 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 zero. So we have changed the zero to one, well, one to zero. Okay, after that, the next step is to go now to addition. We move now to step number three. You had the generated value to the positive number. So we have zero, zero, one, one, plus one, 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 zero. Remember the rules? One plus, this is addition you had, one plus zero is always one. While one plus one is one zero. So you write the, the zero here. Then the next part, you carry the one to this part. So we have one, zero, one. One plus zero plus one is equivalent to, is equivalent to, to, to one zero. Therefore, you write these as zero. Then you carry one to this point. One plus zero plus one is equal to one zero. Now that one takes us to rule number four. If the answer obtained as more bits than the original number, the extra bit is known as the overflow. So this is our overflow. So this one is what we call the overflow. Now you take this one and you add it to the bits. So you take this one. So the the answer, which is a this one, I will take this one and I will add to zero, 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 one. The answer that we had in our previous case on the top here. Then you had with the overflow. Now, after you add to the overflow, what we will have next is uh, you will add one plus one, which is a uh, one zero. Now, carry one here. One plus zero is one. Then the other is zero zero. Therefore, the final answer. For our case is zero, zero, one, zero. And that is how we had we subtract our binaries using the one complement. I hope it's that uh, simple and very clear. So as long as you are able now to interpret the steps, or rather to follow the steps from uh, step one all the way to the last step, you will find that the answer will be correct. So we will also come another scenario whereby the answer obtained will have a similar uh, similar bits as the original number. Therefore, the answer that you get will be the final answer. Okay, let's move to another scenario for practice purpose. Where we have uh, one one zero one two minus zero one one one. Okay, for the purpose of, uh, okay, let me take you to this other one so that you can also compare so that as I try to make the calculation, we'll be able to make the follow-up. Okay, remember the rules. Step number one is to convert this one, this section into one complement. So the, for this one, the complement, The complement for this one will be 
one zero 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 two okay therefore we'll have one one zero one where the other one is one zero 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 okay so you had remember the holes you can as well as uh, try to compare with the t zone you're looking at this zone one one plus zero one plus zero as you can see is uh, supposed to give you one zero plus zero is zero one plus zero is a one okay let me try to wrap it out this is supposed to be is supposed to be one while one and one is supposed to give you one zero t zone now if you look at uh, the original number we had four four bits but for the next case we have five bits so remember what we had already done on the other previous case so what you're supposed to do you carry to the least significant bits that is zero one zero one so what i've done I have exempted this one. I will exempt this one, then I will add it here. Well, uh, these are the keys. It is what we have at the top. So, what I will need to do is to add the one here. So, what I will have one plus one is then car one. One plus zero is one. Then one and the other one is zero so our final answer our final answer is a zero one one zero two that's simple okay i hope you have understood how not to work on a one complement okay let's do our last example Okay, our last example, which is quite uh, simple, we have 1010111. Remember that rule number one is to convert this one into a one complement. So how do you work with one complement? You have to convert this one, convert this one. After you convert this one, it will be equivalent to okay. So it will be equivalent to zero, 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 zero. Then after that, you go directly to the addition. One, zero, one, zero. Then we have zero, 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 zero. Then you, you had zero plus zero is zero. One plus zero is a one. 0 plus 0 is 0, 1 plus 0 is 1. It is that simple. So the final answer for our case is a 1, 0, 1, 0, base 2 is our answer. So it is that simple. So that is the end of uh, this particular case. So in our next uh, lesson, we will cover subtraction using the two complements. So in case you are having any challenge with the, any particular number, you can write it down on the comment section. I will get back to you as soon as you see your comment. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and also to like and as well as try to share with friends. Continue supporting the channel by just subscribing, sharing and also liking. Have a lovely day. Bye bye.